Within the video game industry, there are countless amount of games that are dominated with the subject of war. Valiant Hearts is a hidden gem between the litany of titles. It tells a wonderful story during one of the darkest parts in our history. It is easily one of the best war games I have experienced, all accomplished with rarely ever firing a weapon. Ubisoft Montpellier, using the UBR engine, has delivered a truly touching and beautiful 2D puzzle game set in World War One that will tug at your heartstrings, give you a bit of a history lesson, and make you smile from ear to ear. Valiant Hearts tells a beautiful tale that is inspired by letters that were written during the Great War. The story of Valiant Hearts is about three unique characters, Emil, Freddy, and Anna, and a lovable dog that helps them along the way. The three are fighting in a devastating war against the Germans and are all desperately trying to reunite Carl, a German soldier, with his wife and son who happen to be French. The story will touch on violent trench warfare, POW camps and cities being bombed, but despite the darkness of the subject matter, Ubisoft have been able to fold some humour into the mix and it's safe to say that it works perfectly. The highlight of Valiant Hearts comes in the form of its simply stunning art direction. As you move through the environments, it feels as if you're watching a great piece of animation, rather than playing an actual game. It varies from the green fields of France to the dark and bleak trenches where barbed wire explosions and thick smoke litter the screen. All of the environments are immensely different, although equally as beautiful. Just like the surrounding environments, the characters are also expertly crafted. Freddy is a large, barrel-chested American that fights for the French. He struts straight into battle with brash and confidence. Emile is a French soldier, father-in-law to Carl, and battling for his country. Anna, a medic, just trying to do her best in this horrible war. And finally, Carl, a German father and husband that gets deported from France when the war begins. And all he's trying to do is just get back to his family. The gameplay in Valiant Hearts is fairly straightforward. Each character has different abilities in order to get through different puzzles and situations. And as it is not a normal war game where you just pick up a gun and mow down hundreds of enemies, most of the time you'll be challenged to discover ways to avoid confrontation and slip by unharmed. Valiant Hearts is an overly difficult game. Some of the puzzles did leave me scratching my head for a couple of minutes, but ultimately making your way through it won't give you too many problems. This isn't really an issue because this game is meant to be experienced more than challenging. Throughout the 5-6 to six hour story of Valiant Hearts, I found myself repeating some of the same fetch quest style missions a few times over, especially when it meant trying to find something to use as a lever. Most of the puzzles are unique, which keeps the gameplay fresh, although sadly it does fall down a bit and feel a little repetitive. Valiant Hearts is a great level design. As you move throughout the world, there is a large number of collectibles to be found, and each time you find one of these collectibles, you'll be given a slab of information to read that explains the relevance of the item during the Great War. To accompany this, there is a lot of information to be found within the menu that will help you understand what happened during the war and help lay the scene when slugging through hazy, barbed wire-ridden trenches. I did really enjoy that all this information was available for me to consume, although with the huge slabs of text, I often found myself reading for a few minutes every scene, taking me away from the game for extended periods of time. Each character also writes their own diary throughout the story, and this is an excellent way to pay homage to the letters that the game drew inspiration from. Valiant Hearts is simply one of the best war games I have played in years. With its excellent art direction and level design, it tells a heartwarming love story in a bleak and horrible period of our history. And all this is achieved without hardly ever having to fire a gun.